Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this kind of cool material where we can select our element and that element is animating with the color. So it's very easy. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So first I need a texture. So I'll go to the Photoshop, take a new and I'll take 1K. And what I'll do, I'll just make a circle. One new layer, make it white, and then control T, and I'll just align it in the center. Then, what I'll do is let's invert it, make it black, and then I'll go here and select maybe this. I will just subtract some value and then delete it. And same thing I do here. I'm not doing it very perfectly, but you can do, you can take your time like this. Control H to hide these. Then right click blending option and you can go in a, you can go stroke. And I'll just use color and maybe this much. And this is inside. By default, it's, it's outside, but I'm using inside. Now I can turn this on. Okay. Let's merge. And if I go to level, I can make it a little grayish. And let's also just to make it uh, different. I'll just make, take this brush. And this is one. Maybe hard. This is one. One, two, three, and this is four. Okay, so these are now uh, four different things. I'll just save it on the desktop and let's use JPEG. I'll call it select. You can call it anything. Then I'll go to the Unreal Engine and here I will import from desktop that select image right click make a material okay and what i'll do in the material basically to select one of these i'll use the same process what i did in this one and in this one so if you don't understand you can watch these two videos but we will do something different in this one okay so let's make some space here and I'll make this unlit to side it. So basically you have this. Now you want to select one of these at a time. So what you do, uh, because we need a radial. So I'll take vector to, to radial. And you need to take this vector converted angle. If I preview, this is how it looks. Okay. And to offset it, you can add values. So let's call it offset or you can call it select. Okay. Then to repeat it, I'll take the frac. So it will repeat. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can watch these two videos. Okay. So basically, if I show you, this is your value. And if you add like 0.2, it's nothing happened. But if you use frac, it will animate like this. Then to cut it, I'll use the step. And because we are dividing it for uh, in four pieces, so 0.25. So one uh, 0.25 is the one fourth of one. And now you got this, so it will select. So now if I just multiply it with this and save. and make an instance and now with this value I can rotate it when you see uh, when I'm rotating it is cutting half but I want to snap it on one then two then three so I'll use the same process that I used in this one so let's do it so you in the slack divide it by with the same value 0.25 because we are using uh, we need four then use the round and then multiply it again with the 0.25 and that's it so your basic 
material is done. Now with this, if I rotate, it will just select one of these. Now what you can do, the selected part you can make red. So what I'll do, I'll multiply or you can use LURP if you want. So uh, or you can use multiply or LURP anything. So let's say I multiply it with color, let's say red, five, five. Then multiply here, let's say with, okay. But I want all three should visible, but in black and white, but this should be selected one should be red. So what I'll do, instead of multiplying, I'll take the LURP and on the white, it will be red and on here it will be uh, same white cool and now I want the selected one should be a little bigger so you can do that so this is your texture, you can take scale UV from center and then texture coordinate here and this is the value and by default should be 1. So I'll use this thing but I'll saturate it and then the LURP and I want all these 3 1 and the selected one should be 1 1.2. Now you can see selected one is bigger and these are default size. You can make them smaller if you want. You can decrease this value. And if you want to animate the selected one, you can use time, sign. So it will be just up and down, up and down, but negative value. So I'll take the absolute. So they will be just a positive value, zero to one. Then again, learn and should be one to 1.2 and I'll connect it here and let's see now selected one is animating whatever is this it's cool so this is our material and now you can use your different type of images like I have already this one so let's try it with this it has these cool for different things so what I'll do I'll use this image here Then we are going to using the uh, this thing. So let's save it. And now rest of these three are the default color, but this is red. But I don't want red. I want same color, but little bit uh, same color. Uh, so I'll use the one here. But this one, the rest of three should be black and white. So what I'll do, I'll use the saturate and just connect it here and it should be perfect. Oh, it's not. Let me see what's happening. So basically, if I desaturate this image, it's, it's black and white. Cool. So what I want. I don't want this actually, I don't want this. So I'm desaturating it, but I'm using, I will use this saturate, which is a white thing, okay? So if I make this desaturation zero, it will make that color again. So that means I, if I invert this, so what is doing? Three are white, that means it will make the black and white, and this one is black, zero value that means it will be colorful so i can just directly connect it and now it should work yeah but because this is just a big jpeg it doesn't have any alpha so you can see this issue which is cutting these but otherwise this is how it is cool so i hope you like this thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye